Hey, what's up guys? This is Flash from Flash Hobbies and today I'm just going to do a quick overview of the uh, Hobby King programming card. This is, I believe, used from 60 amp all the way up to 150 amp, so it's going to be the same for each ESC. Um, I got this um, ESC from Hobby King, um, I want to say probably about a month ago, maybe two months ago. And I feel like it's running a little sluggish, so I, I, didn't, I couldn't figure out how to do the trigger um, con controls on the... Um, on the actual control itself so I went ahead and ordered this from them now one thing you need to keep in mind is when you order it they don't include this cable uh, at least mine didn't come with one I don't know if that goes for all of them but I have a few extra of these laying around so you definitely need one of these and it's a uh, um, mail to mail and what you're going to need for this project is of course your uh, Hobby King programming card um, like I said your your cable uh, your battery and uh, also uh, it needs to be kind of fully charged just in case there's nothing wrong with it okay so what you're going to want to do is use this plug plug one in into your throttle um, receiver port and then from there it's going to plug in into the right side of your card make sure that um, your battery is plugged in that's what I'm doing now and turn on your system give it a second or two and then you'll see it light up and just as simple as that it tells you on the left side menu one which is telling you your option so and it's listed here on the card there's one there's two and the rest of your options are on the back and it goes all the way up to ten and basically what you want to do is just look at uh, the value and it tells you here so right now it's set to three so it's a 3.0 uh, volt cell cutoff for your lipo and if if you like that, you can go ahead and hit OK. And once you see that little light blink, that means it's uploading to your ESC and saving your settings. Now, if you want to go to value, you can change the value. If you want to move on to the next option, just hit menu and it tells you. So we're on menu two, value two, it's telling you that. Running mode, right now we're only forward and then reverse. So it's that simple and just follow that for each single one and hopefully that will be the fastest way to set up the ESC. As of right now this ESC has been great, never overheats, barely gets warm, the only drawback that I have for it is that it's just entirely too big but other than that it's a great ESC for the price. I got it for about 45 bucks off of Hobby King with shipping and uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you guys. So once again I hope this was helpful for you and thanks for watching Flash Hobbies. We'll see you next time.